All right, so as you're building your site, you may have a time where you've created a page, such as this one here, where we have it as careers. But you look back after you've kind of built a fair amount of the page up through, and you want to change this slug, right? You want to change the path of this page. Inside of the WYSIWYG editor, there's not a way to do this just yet. But it's really simple to do. We just need to jump into the code. And it's so simple that it, pretty much anybody can do this. So you can actually, at this point, if you want to change this here, just jump into the code here and we'll open up the content pages file and then you'll find the page that we're related to. So let's say we want to change this page here, right? This careers page. We want to change this to uh, our careers instead of careers. So we're going to click rename and we'll type in our dash careers. And now I'm going to click OK. And now what we're going to see is this page here will 404. It's going to throw a 404 error. And when you see that, you know you've done it correctly. So you can also take a look here and you'll see that this still says slash careers. Well, Stackbit actually needs you to refresh to pick up that new page path. So once you refresh the page here, you'll see our careers. And you can just click on our careers and it'll take you there. The other thing that we could do, uh, and I just went back to the old page, the other thing that we can do here is you can just come up here and you can type in our dash careers or whatever you might uh, be looking at for that new page. So now the next thing that you would want to be checking on here is actually coming uh, in on any place that those links actually exist. So I know that this link exists here to slash careers, right? So I would come in here and I would update this to our careers instead so that folks when they are navigating via this link, right? it goes to this correct page. And I think there might even be some pages in the footer, like this one here, where you'll want to do that same thing of changing the URL like that. Um, and once those are updated, then you have all your paths in order and you have this new page ready to go.